Well, in other news tonight, we are getting new insight into what happened over Lake Huron almost two weeks ago. Yeah, audio from the cockpit of the F-22 Raptor that shot that unidentified object out of the sky has now been released. Grant Herms got his hands on it. Uh, Grant with us now live. Pretty wild hearing what that pilot encountered, Grant. Devin, it certainly was. You know, at first, these pilots had a hard time finding that object, that balloon, and then once they did, they weren't really sure what they were looking at, and then they were able to finally down this object. But ultimately, we may never know what it actually was. New audio from inside the F-16 fighter jets tasked with shooting down a suspected balloon over Lake Huron earlier this month. The audio put up online, authenticated by the Air Force for Local 4. The pilots still searching for the exact location of the object. With a cruising speed of nearly 600 miles an hour, the object is so small from inside the cockpit, it's hard to see. The only thing is just the size of it. So it's just so slow and so small and you can't see it because it's so close. I don't have to be worried about hitting it before you know it was there. And then they find it. You know, just some kind of dark object. You can see some strings or something hanging down below it. Uh, I can't tell if it's holding anything. It's like a octagon shape. Uh, I'm going to call it a balloon. You can definitely see strings hanging down below, but I don't see anything below it. It's pretty small. Uh, I don't know, size of like a balloon or something. The pilots have to make several runs, but eventually shoot it down. The hit came on the second Sidewinder missile fired. The first one, according to the Pentagon, missed the balloon. The heat-seeking supersonic high-explosive missiles cost the Air Force about $470,000 each time they're fired. The search for the wreckage eventually called off after Canadian search crews came up empty-handed. And then the Air Force also confirming that those fighter jets were scrambled out of an air base in Duluth, Minnesota, about 500 or so miles away from where that object was shot down over Lake Huron. Back to you. Fascinating to get to hear it. All right, Grant.